So here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison for two humidifiers. This is the MedScan humidifier. Um, and this is the big boy, Yokikon. And it's a 16 liter humidifier. And uh, I don't actually know how many liters is in here, but it's obviously not 16 liters. Um, <clears throat> look, just a couple of differences. Obviously the price is very different. You can Google the price of MedScan, but um, this YokiCon one is from Amazon. It's, uh, it's about $229. Um, so the difference between the small humidifier and the big one, a couple of differences. First thing, obviously, this is 16 liters. This is a, a lot smaller. And so when you're outputting in a big room like uh, the open living area that we have, uh, you're going to be pumping out at least 300 mils per hour. This guy can go up to one liter per hour, apparently, which means that for 16 liters, it can last for 16 hours. Uh, and that's pumping out a lot of um, fluid at the same time. Um, <clears throat> this one seems to have a reasonably good output, but I'm guessing it's 250 mil max when you put it on the maximum. It could be higher, uh, but I think it's about 250 mil, same with the Kmart one. Um, the other difference is that you can, there, there are obviously a lot more settings on this one. This one has got um, a humidity um, setting, so you can actually set the humidity that you want. It's got, a, it's got a hygrometer built in, so that means that you can know what the humidity is in this room. Right now it's 46%. The ambient uh, humidity in Perth at the moment is apparently 49%, which means that inside the house is actually less humid than outside. Um, for most people, this is a perfectly reasonable humidity. Um, but for some people, you may want your humidity to be 60%. Um, and uh, what I never thought about was blood noses, um, dry lips, and even dry eyes can be because of low humidity. Now, if you've got the air conditioning going, then it's gonna drop the humidity further, and sometimes in Perth, it goes all the way down to 20%. So your humidity in your house could very well go below 20%, which is gonna be very bad for all those things that I just mentioned before. With this uh, YokiCon, um, you can see that it tells you how much water you've got left. Um, it's very simple to add water. You can just pour it from the top, and it's got an outlet here, which means that you can direct the path of the uh, of the of the vapor. Now you can set the constant humidity to be different settings all the way up to 90% which is pretty crazy because I don't think you could get that far. And you can see that when I got it down to 40 it automatically just stops pumping out because it knows that it's um, it's already reached this setting. Unlike this MedScan one and the cheaper humidifiers which will just keep going and going and going even if the humidity goes up too far. So I'm gonna set this one at 60% and I doubt that we'll get there because this is a very big area. But if it is actually going at one liter per hour, then possibly you might reach that 60% in this room. If you've got the air conditioning on, you've got reverse cycle, then it could be a bit of a challenge because the reverse cycle is taking water out of the air constantly. Um, so, now the other difference is that this actually has a, a UV, um, a UV thing, which means that it can kill bacteria and keep the water cleaner. The other problem with the MedScan one is that it's actually quite hard to reach to clean the inside. You're supposed to clean it every week, fill it with vinegar, and potentially use some hydrogen peroxide mixture to also clean this. This one to fill up with water, you've got to turn it upside down. I won't do it because. It's full of water right now, but essentially you lift up the top, you gotta to turn upside down, take the cap off, and then fill it with water that way. But the opening's about that big, and you have to put something in there to try to clean the inside of the, the device. This one is an open canister, which means that once you take the lid off, it's just basically a bucket of water there, and it's quite easy to clean inside there. Plus it's got the UV, so it means that it's probably going to be uh, less risky in terms of growing bacteria. This has got a timer, it's got so you can set it for a certain number of hours and it's also got sleep mode which presumably means that it goes really quiet i don't know I'm not sure what it does but the sleep mode and it's very quiet operation so i'll be quiet for a second you can listen to it that's the sound that it makes um, the med scan is also extremely quiet um, i'm going to plug it in so everyone can see it 
It's got a nice LED light, which is super annoying at night, which you can turn off, thankfully. Um, it's got an on-off switch. It always puzzles me why on earth companies would build um, LED lights, really bright lights, uh, for things that you're gonna be wanting to be using at night to sleep when you're sleeping. Um, so that's a bit strange. I'm gonna turn off the Yokicon and I'm gonna plug in the med scan so you can see what this one looks like. This one you can get at pharmacies. Yokicon you cannot buy from pharmacy, that's from Amazon, like I said. You can see that's the mist that's coming out from the med scan. You can turn on the LED, it's got a nice light. You can change color. That's more of a novelty thing. Um, the kids like it because you can change color. So I'm gonna set this one up in one of the kids' rooms um, to keep the air nice and moist. Um, the problem is that if you don't actually have a hygrometer, you actually have no idea what the humidity is in your house, apart from going onto your iPhone, which is, by the way, if you have an iPhone, you can now click on the weather app, click on the humidity, and you can see the graph for the day. So that's actually quite useful. And it'll tell you the humidity the whole day. So you don't have to have this on all the time. And plus this guy, like I said, you can control the output, but it will just keep going all night and all day until it runs out of water. Um, at the maximum speed, yes, you will run out of water, I think about 10 hours, five, I don't know, eight hours, whatever. But overnight, if you put it on maximum speed, you will eventually run out of water pretty quickly. So you gotta refill. This big boy here um, will not run out of water for at least a day. So you can see that's the amount of output and it's significantly less, but it's pretty decent for a small room. Um, this has obviously got very little in terms of other controls. It doesn't have any other UV, it doesn't have a timer doesn't have sleep mode whatever that is and it's just got the on off like that but at least you can control analog okay so that's the uh, med scan one i've also got the kmart one with um, three settings in terms of the speed it's got very similar problems to this guy you've got to turn it upside down to be able to fill it in the kmart one's got a really small outlet which means that I think it's going to be almost impossible to clean the inside of the case, which means that eventually, if there's sort of dodgy stuff growing inside of it, I'm probably just going to throw it away. But that was only $26, so to be fair. Um, so overall, I think having a humidifier is actually super useful in a very dry climate like Perth, especially if you have dry eyes, and it can really help with dry eyes, believe me. Um, so if you do have dry eyes and you want to fix getting humidifiers a good idea, you do need to clean these humidifiers very regularly. You also need to disinfect them. Um, you need to use the vinegar to get rid of the hard water that we have in Perth, unfortunately. Um, sorry, not get rid of the hard water, but to fix the, the issue with hard water, which means that there will be calcium deposits inside these containers eventually, and then it will eventually block off the vaporizing bit. So you need to use vinegar once a week, you need to use a bit of hydrogen peroxide to clean. Um, and yeah, well that's it. So this this big boy, useful for big rooms. These little things, good for small rooms. We've been using this one for, I think a year, but not really that often. So I couldn't talk about the longevity, but I, like I said, the cleaning could be a bit of an issue with this boy. All right, thanks very much. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you're thinking of getting the Yokicon, I definitely would, sorry, the Yokicon, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's a really um, nicely made product from my point of view. And by the way, this thing does adjust. You can turn it around. And if you take it off, you can see that's what it looks like in there. Um, and you can take this off pretty easily. And that's just the water. Um, and it's got, oh, by the way, apart, the Kmart one doesn't have the little, Thing with the rocks in it which I presume is to I don't know clean the water or make it soft make the water softer so this thing is better than the Kmart one this one also has that little stone thing if you guys know what that those rocks are for let me know in the comments below um, yeah so go ahead and get the Yokicon if you're looking for a humidifier for a big room I think this will serve well for our living area and uh, it does have the auto shut off which is really useful and the hygrometer built in so hopefully that's been helpful for someone thanks bye